it's going to be. Okay, so I wanted to start off by telling you guys that yesterday I spent eight hours in the hospital. Um, I got sick on Tuesday with really bad abdominal pains, and then I got a fever of 102.7, which is really scary if anyone doesn't know that. Um, but then I had to go to the hospital, they did all these tests and blood work and CAT scans on my belly and nothing showed up, so they just sent me home. Um, so I'm here now, feeling a lot better. <laughs> Don't have a fever anymore, which is really good. Um, but that's just to start off and tell you guys I'm still alive, so yeah. go me! Um, Alright, so this story is about how um, awkward I was as a prepubescent teen. Um, Twelve years old. Um, let's just start off by saying I went through a chubby stage. Um, I grew up afterwards and thankfully kind of grew out of that, but it was really awkward at the time. And uh, in that chubby stage, I uh, started developing what some may call breasts. Um, <laughs> but I was 12, um, and that summer, I went to Wisconsin with my family, and some of you may recall the bug story I told that got me here, where I found a bug that decomposed my ear for three weeks. <laughs> that just made me a little nauseous, but... Um, <laughs> so, I'm in Wisconsin with my family, we go every summer, but this year, uh, my brother's really good friend comes along with us, and he is not a prepubescent teen, he is a 15-year-old, blonde, blue-eyed boy named Noah Pierce. And Noah Pierce was possibly the most attractive boy I'd ever seen in my entire elementary school life because he was always three and a half years older than me. I'd known him since I was really young, watched him get muscly and everything. And he's there with me with my family and I'm really awkward and really chubby and just 12, you know, that awkward time when you just don't know what's going to happen to you if you'll ever turn out to look like all those beautiful girls in those 16 magazines. But, um, anyways, so in Wisconsin we've got these two docks and my grandfather's cabin like up this little hill and we used to play this game all the time where we'd set up these ropes in between the two docks and string the inner tubes between them and, you know, like, pull yourself along as fast as you possibly can to get to the other side so that you could win the game, because it was really boring and we'd be there for like two weeks and we had to come up with something to entertain ourselves and I guess that's what we came up with. Um, so we're doing this game and Noah and my brother and my cousins are all there and, you know, I don't really remember my parents being there, they must have gone away from the family because they had to do that a lot. Um, but, you know, we're playing this game and I'm on the inner tube and I'm going as fast as I can across the water and I'm just trying to get to the other side and Noah just comes up and tackles me out of nowhere, shoves me underwater and holds me under there for what seems like impossibly long. I think I'm going to die. I come up and I'm just yelling at him, I'm like, Noah, how could you do that? You almost killed me. You're disqualified. Like, it's pretty shallow water. I never would have gotten hurt, but I'm just yelling at him. I'm screaming. He's like, you can't do that to me. I just, this is just not fair. You're disqualified. You have to leave now. And he's just staring at me like this, not moving, not saying anything. And he points, and he goes, your boobs popping out. And I look down, and sure enough, Little tiny Tim is just sticking out of my two-piece bathing suit, and I am mortified. And I run up to the cabin, and my crazy step-grandma is there, and I'm crying hysterically. And I say, Linda, I just, oh, I just, I, just, I tell her the whole story, and she's just like, you can't be crying right now. What's wrong with you? Like, you can't be crying at all. And she marches me back down to the water where all of the boys are and makes me stand in front of Noah and my brother and my cousin and say, I'm proud of my womanhood. <laughs>